Shazid. <laughs> Hello there, my friend. How are you doing? I'm in a real pickle right now. As opposed to a fake pickle. Long story short, I just landed in Russia and lost my wallet, my luggage, and my phone, so don't try to call me. Can you send 1,000 US my way by clicking the link below? It's very urgent, I'll explain when I get back. <laughs> what? This isn't him, this cannot be him. Dude, if you expect me to believe that he's in Russia right now, you might as well tattoo idiot on my forehead. <laughs> Hello? Yeah, Shazir? By any chance are you in Russia right now and in need of money? Well, I'm not in Russia right now, but yeah. <laughs> okay, so, so you're home then? Yeah, why? Well, it's safe to say someone just hacked into your old email account and they just messaged me asking for money. What? I'll come in. But no, 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 you don't have to come all the way down here. I just wanted to call and tell. Yo! You. Yeah, so late, plenty of traffic. All right, so what's going on here? All right, well, um, this is it. <laughs> These people for real? They're from Russia? <laughs> Who do you think they're fooling? Dude, I really don't even know. Hey, you know what we could do with this? Let me just play along, man. See, see what they can see. That's brilliant, that's brilliant. Yeah, yeah, let, let me tell you something to them. Hey, man. Really sorry to hear about that. I'll send you the money as soon as I can, but I'm worried. Do you think it will be enough though? <laughs> I know how countries like that can be sometimes, and I don't want you to be uncomfortable while you're there. Please let me know if you need any more money. Send. <laughs> These people are really funny, boy. I wonder what they just really be thinking when they send this kind of ship in this way. <laughs> hey Dimitri, get over here. You need to see this. What is it, my friends? Let me in. What is it? It's these idiot Americans. They fell for it again. It's too easy. One time I told them that I was an alien that crash landed on Earth and needed money to return to my home planet called Netzak. Ah. And they still sent me the money. In the Netzak currency. I did not even know that was a real currency. Oh Vladimir, you know this is too easy. These Americans tattoo idiots on their foreheads. Not exactly American. It looks like they're from Tiny Dad. What on earth is a Tiny Dad? I don't know, but the people there must be very short. Anyway, what do you think we should tell them? Oh, look, they reply. <laughs> yeah, how much money do you think you need, man? Well, I don't know. Maybe I need a lot. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, let's see what they say here. Uh, thank you so much, comrade. Wow, it's like I'm speaking right to you. I appreciate your generosity. If you insist, you can send 5,000 US instead? I think it would definitely sort out my sleeping arrangement and fund my flight back to Tiny Dad. <laughs> <laughs> the guy even said Trinidad, right? Yo, these, guys, these guys are too good. They can't be serious. Yo, let's keep messing with them. Let me, let me write them something else. Um, <clears throat> no problem, bud. I'll get that back to you in a few. Other than that, though, how has your trip been? I've always wanted to visit Russia, but never had the chance. How are the people? What is it like? Hmm. You should tell them our people are very nice, and not in any way hostile or violent. Ah, yes, yes, and we have very nice vodka and babushkas. Ah, and don't forget about the women. Tell them that our women are Yeninius Chonito Negovri Porosky. Oh, you dirty dog, you cannot tell them that. Wait a minute. They want to know about other culture. Why don't you send them some of our music? Ah, yes, I know the perfect one. Here, send this. Ah, excellent choice, comrade. Hey, they replied. Hey, they sent us a music file. You ready to hear some Russian music? <laughs> Dog, I was born ready. All right, let's listen. Hmm. Do you think they would like it, comrade? Yes, I think they will appreciate the different style of music. You know, it kind of has a vibe to it. I kind of like it, not gonna lie. 
Take it off. Huh? Take it off. What? It's too good, man. I'm not even gonna lie. Oh. It's actually really good. I'm not even lying. I said, take it off. All right, well, it's off. You know what? On second thought, I don't think so. These tiny daddians wouldn't really understand it. I don't think they'll like it at all. I didn't like that at all. <sighs> hey, I have an idea. What if you send them some of our music? Oh yeah, yeah. I, I know the perfect song. Hmm, excellent choice. Thanks. <laughs> hey Dimitri, look. They sent us some of their music. Ah, would you like to take in the music of the tiny dad? <laughs> Babushki. Ah, couldn't have said it better myself. <sighs> Dude, it's been 45 minutes. How have they not replied yet? Maybe America nuked them. Okay, really? America nuking Russia? <laughs> Come on. Maybe they're just enjoying the music so much that they forgot to reply. You really think they enjoy that music? <laughs> Come, be real. <sighs> hey, Dimitri! I'm really enjoying this music. Hey, Vladimir! He's telling me that it's really not on the party. I really do think so, Emma. I mean, I'm quite on the other side of the world. You really think they could dance to that kind of music? Hey Dimitri, am I doing it right? What are you doing? I can see her! No, no, I think this is how they dance now, the time is that. Uh, you should hold them! Uh, you know, I think we should just forget about the money. They seem like nice people. Yes, I agree, Vladimir. Let us dance until America inevitably nukes us. Aha, not if we nuke them first. <laughs> Poor Moski! 